Yeah, that was the principal in Fresno, California, shoving an 11-year-old student with special needs because he apparently got too close to him, probably said the wrong things, got in his face, and he was very threatening, right? Well, that school district did figure this whole thing out, and the frustrating part about this is the timeline it took for them to get there. So the school district did figure out the problem here. They did eventually get rid of him in a way. Either he got rid of himself, but the child's guardian is speaking out about what happened. Let's watch what she had to say. You cannot put force to these kids like that. My son is artistic. And any parent seeing this video, they know what I'm feeling right now. My son was pushed with force. Then instead of de-escalating the situation, which is what we'd expect of an educator in our system, the former principal chooses to aggressively shove the student down instead. Let me be very clear, unequivocal on this matter, there's no excuse for repugnant behavior such as this. You see those two other adults in the room right there when he violated that kid? It seemed like it was a normal situation. It seemed like they were going, oh, principal's going off again. He just shoved another student. No big deal. Let's look at some details here uh, from CNN because uh, they said earlier this week, the Fresno Unified School District released the surveillance video of now former Walters Elementary School principal, Brian Volhart who pushed this unidentified 11-year-old student to the ground in June while he and other staffers were working with the, quote, upset student. It looked like Volhart was upset. According to an arrest warrant affidavit obtained by KFSN, Volhart said the student was yelling and getting in the principal, quote, suspect and a slash suspect's face while making threats. Citing the ongoing investigation, police and the school district declined to comment on Volhart's comments in the affidavit. Also, uh, uh, the kid's guardian, Says she had to fight just to get the, the, this surveillance video then released about what had happened because, again, her kid got shoved by a grown ass man. So uh, her name is Anne Frank, and she told CNN, uh, this affiliate, that the case lingered at police headquarters until she complained about the lack of charges two weeks ago. It took the school just three months to show her the video. This is not from this school year, this is from last school year that ended right for this summer. It took them three months to show her the video of her kid being assaulted by this guy, who then went on to get another job at another school, just like police officers do when they go from one county to the next after getting fired. So here's some details on that. He resigned before the district completed their investigation. I guess he was hoping it would just blow over. Uh, Bohart was later hired as a vice principal at the Golden Plains Unified School District. Uh, Martin Marcius, the school district superintendent, told CNN that they were made aware of the June 7th incident on Wednesday and have since placed Voltart on administrative leave. Okay, Jessica, this guy shoves a student across the room in the cafeteria because he's threatening him. Two other adults are there and go, oh, let's help the student up because this guy's just acting normal. Then, not fired, not reprimanded, not suspended, not uh, resigning until video comes out, which the school district didn't want to show to this kid's parent. And then finally, when that comes out, then he leaves and goes somewhere else. And that new school has no idea who he is, no idea what he got fired last time for or resigned over. Bro, this is, it's, imagine working at a bank and you get fired for some kind of nefarious activity with the money, because that's the most important thing you're dealing with there. Same with the school and children. And you go to the next bank after you get fired and they go, oh, well, I guess Wells Fargo got rid of you. Here, come on to Bank of America. I don't think so. Absolutely disgusting. Watching this video, I fundamentally don't understand the people standing around him. As soon as he shoves the kid, even the woman who goes to help the kid has no sense of urgency. It's like almost slow motion where she's like, oh no, what's happened? It, if I was in either of those positions, uh, the woman standing you know, to our right of him and the guy to the left, if I was the woman on the right, I would be jumping at the kid to see if he's okay. And if I was the dude on the left, I'd be like, okay, we're making sure the kid's okay. And the next move, quite honestly, I don't know how you could not just punch the guy in the face. Like, I really don't understand. Uh, and it's Jesus. like the type of situation where you see someone hurting someone who is innocent and defenseless. This is a kid who is young and aus autistic and an older guy who's clearly very strong shoving him to the ground. We see the interaction of what happened before this. Nothing that would have warranted that. Uh, I can't even imagine something that would have, but we clearly didn't see anything in that video. And we have the police, you know, arresting mothers 
for having their kids in a food court while they're doing a job interview two tables away. But this guy walks off scot-free after treating someone's kid like that? Solidarity with the Guardian and Frank, uh, and she needs justice. I have no idea what I would do if I was a mother in this situation. But how can you watch this and not be infuriated? I'm waiting for the criminal charges. Hey, there was a story last week of this father who jumped on the school bus because there was a fight going on with his daughter and another kid, and he threatened the kids, and he was in the wrong. No one has come to this guy yet and said, hey, uh, it's about time you face some charges for this. Kids get in these fights, and we're definitely on the kids because they're doing wrong things. An adult shoves a kid like this and this doesn't result in anything else? Come on, bro. I, I get the feeling this might be different if it was a different kid. And by the way, mm -hmm. the kid had autism, right? It doesn't matter if the kid doesn't. Now, this is even more, uh, even more specific of a, of a disgusting nature of a thing. But say the kid doesn't have autism. That kid doesn't deserve to get shoved by a grown ass principal either. Just putting that out there, that in case we forgot that part too. You're a principal.